Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday number 122. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go over it, I do my best to find any maybe mistakes you're making or your teammates if you're doing, you know, normal arena. Twos, threes, RBGs, solo shuffle, Mistweaver, Windwalker, Mythic Plus, rating. It doesn't matter. Just send your gameplay in. If you don't want to send your gameplay in, I would still highly recommend recording your gameplay and kind of watching it back. I think it's one of the best ways to improve and learn at pretty much anything. So today we have, I think it's Nyx today, and we have, it looks like some solo, so, uh, some, uh, solo shuffle games. So we're going to we're gonna watch some solo shuffle. Looking at the talent build, it looks like this was last... Um, Last patch, which is fine too, um, but I'm gonna try to remember that. Uh, we should be playing. What are our talents? What are PvP talents? We're playing into Ret Feral, so we should be playing. Uh, Zen Focus T is fine. Um, I would probably recommend Peace Weaver though, mostly for the. I would also play Restore instead of Revi Revival. That way, you have something while you're stunned because there's nothing in this matchup that like you need revival to dispel for it's not like an affliction warlock or like a shadow priest that has dots you you kind of just want the heal while stunned and peace fever is also really good versus rep pally damage so i would recommend going restoral and peace weaver i think eminence is fine because they could definitely go you but uh that's the only thing, uh, thing i would change with that so we're going versus mastery i could tell from the build which is okay as well so let's see let's see what we got here we are casting which is nice and uh uh, let's see. We have a warlock and a hunter. Looks like it's a BM hunter. So we'll kind of see how this goes. Nice. That's uh, stun on you potentially into a. Tr nope. I don't know. It's a Destro Lock too, so we're just gonna heal. Just focus on healing. Um, it, this is Rep Pally cooldowns. Really good port from your warlock. You could use Rob to help kite. Beautiful, beautiful Rob. There go. Uh, Priest is pushing in for CC here. So whenever you see a Priest pushing in for CC, you can either roll away. Maybe you could even sometimes just get the DR in cap and sweep off just because it's them pushing in. But I would recommend just like rolling away, maybe in like this general direction because that's where your Warlock's going. But this is going to be an awkward fear anyway just because the Red Pally is, is kind of far from your Warlock. So you should have some time. Yeah, you should be okay. You should be fine. Good, good, perfect. Zen Focus is good too. Really good. Life Cocoon. Perfect before the Hodge is great. Uh, they're swapping to you now. I think we're okay. Don't freak out. Nice renewing mist. Roll away. Beautiful. We're doing a great job here. Really, really good. Keep your renewing, renewing mist up. Uh, we have our hunter just kind of killing people from range. Chaos bolts coming in hot. I think our warlock had precog there. Um, oh no, that was our unending resolve. Okay, so that's warlock wall and our life cocoon. A little bit of an overlap, which is kind of annoying and shuffle. But get a sweep here is beautiful. Nice. Could maybe get a gale here. Maybe. Bubble's still going for a little bit longer. He's kind of LOS wing's healer, though. All right, this is fine. Nice trap on the priest. All right, maybe we get a kill here. Um, but I would say overall, you're doing a good job. It's awkward positioning from your warlock. I have to look at the map to find out where he is. But warlock's here. Hunter's here. We're doing pretty good. They're running around the pillar. I would say, honestly, if they're going to run behind the pillar, just swap to the feral. Because you don't want your warlock. Hopefully, your warlock doesn't go behind the pillar. Okay, good. All right, they didn't They didn't commit to going behind the pillar. Good. Um, good. Yulon here. Really, really good. Utilizing the hots here. Uh, Rob, maybe on the dome. Perfect. That's the vine toll from the rep alley. Hunter kind of cuts you. Zen focus T as well. Hodge on you. This might be a trinket. Beautiful trinket. Yeah, this is good. It's because I feel like you guys are so far ahead that I, I don't think holding that is going to matter. Um, that's blinding light. I forgot how long blinding light is because uh, they got reduced to this patch. Good about miss put renewing mist as well while you're moving. So make sure that even while you're walking or like running around, you're healing. Because you have instant vivify here, right? You have uh, vivacious vivification. If you use this instant vivify now, you'll be able to use it again in 1.2 seconds. So you can go for an instant vivify now. Uh, with we got an envelop mist, but we, we still have an instant vivify. We have renewing mist that we need to put on our on our warlock as well. Okay, good. All right, warlock has precog, so he's kind of chilling right now. We also have life cocoon back, but no trinket. Uh, bash on you. Trap perfect. This should be uh, this should be a kill. Actually, if you have a sweep. Let me see. Do we have leg sweep at all? I haven't been. Maybe not. Oh, no, we do. We do have leg sweep. Okay, good life cocoon. Whenever you see. So normally what I try to do is because there, there's really there's a very <laughs> there's a lack of CC or like coordination uh, and shuffle. Whenever you try to keep pay attention to the enemy healer, if you see that your teammate gets something, I mean, I'm talking about anything on the enemy healer. Try to go for a leg sweep on the DPS. It's really, really good. 
Um, nice likely there. It's DR on the priest, but I think that's okay. Swap from the priest as well. Emblem. Um, trinket, we are very far. So the issue with this port, the only issue with this port is that it's not near your Warlock's port, and that's normally what you try to do. You really want to make sure that you keep your port on top of your Warlock's port, so when your Warlock ports, you can port. Um, this is Incarn from the Feral, though, and... Okay, we're just running. All right, we're just... We're, the poor Priest cannot get to you. It's a little sad to watch. Um, fear on you. We just die? Oh, my. That's sad, because our, I think our Warlock got a little... I don't know what was... Let me see. Because maybe do we have in cap? Do we have we have ROP. Yeah, I would instead of running all the way across the map, I would probably use ROP uh, right here to get away from your uh, get away from your the priest and try not to run like super just away. Because now we're really far away from our warlock, right? Like even though the priest never got the fear, he might as well have feared you because we kind of just ran away. Um, and now he gets the fear. Now, actually, if you played Peace Weaver, you could revive it. But yeah, it was. This is just like use your mobility, and then also our port was too far away to port. So one thing about this game, I mean, I think you guys are super far ahead. One, well, one, your warlock was really far from that port. So, I mean, it's kind of their bad. Like they uh, they outrange their port, so they couldn't port while they're in trouble. But for you specifically, use your rob to get away from the priest, and then also make sure your port is always on top of the warlock's port. Because if your Warlock ports, you want to port with them, and then that way you could heal them. So, and that way you kind of like line up with your cooldowns. So, yeah, that's the only thing about this game. I think you healed fine. I think you healed fine. I think your cooldowns were fine. Um, your trinket was fine. So, I just be aware. I, I let them, honestly, right here, just let them fear you, right? Like, you have Life Cocoon, Life Cocoon goes down, your Warlock Dark Packs. I mean, you could just let them fear you. The Rep Pally's running too. I would have eaten this fear. I think I think I would have eaten this fear because the Rep Pally's running behind the pillar. Like, it's only the Feral right now in the middle of the map. It's okay to get CC, just not CC at, like, wrong times. Um, and, yeah, the Rep Pally still isn't even in. Yeah, and then this is you're basically just fearing yourself here because we get really far away from uh, the Warlock. And then, and then we get feared. So we got, like, double feared, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, game number two, we got Rhett Hunter versus Destro Feral. So the kill target's definitely going to be the Warlock. Uh, as long as we don't give him Precog. That's pretty much it. Just please, God, <laughs> do not give the Warlock Precog. But besides that, we should be fine. Our talents definitely should have changed to Peace Weaver, though. Peace Weaver, very, very important um, versus this because it's Destro Lock. You could also immune fears with it uh, from the Priest. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, make sure we got a port down. Hunters still in stealth. Our Rap Pally pushed in Renewing Mist here. Uh, curse of weakness. We have no curse of spells, so kind of nice sweep here on the fair into a scatter into a trap. Oh, into a root. That's fine. Root's kind of useless, but still, that's fine. We actually trapped the infernal from the warlocks. That's a little weird, but we could also incap the priest. Beautiful incap there because our hunter missed the trap. That's really, really good from us. Um, kick from the feral into his maim on you. It's okay because you know you're stunned. So uh, we got to push in here though. Renewing mist. Big healing zen focus t. Good because the Warlock saw his kick. Again, same situation. Priest is pushing in. Life Cocoon. Oh, we overlap Life Cocoon and Bubble, which is that's that's a pretty big overlap. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's that's kind of rough. So I would just say, honestly, you know what you need. I think you need to utilize more when there's kicks available and you want to get healing. Is utilize your Thunder Focus Team Enveloping Mist. That makes it so your Enveloping Mist is instant. Um, if you get, if you're playing life cycles, which I believe you are, you can get the instant, and you also need to utilize instant vivify more because it, we have a lot of instant healing. You actually, you can life cocoon first, but I guess it was kind of like the same global. Um, try to utilize those two uh, a lot more because we have a lot of instant healing, and then it it will be a lot more difficult for you to fall behind. But we did overlap bubble and life cocoon, which is not not ideal, definitely not, definitely. And then like, even getting life um, bubble this early is not good as well. Nice drop on the dome, perfect. Meme fear. Good to spell on the fear. Perfect. Nice, nice. Good job avoiding fear. Really good. Get some healing. Might get kicked. Careful. Uh Rep Pally should have maybe Bob soon in a little bit. Nice Zen Focus T to stop any warlock uh interrupts. Really good here. Meme on your Rep Pally. We have any CC for the priest. We just trapped. We don't have leg sweep. Okay. 
So we don't we don't we really we don't have much of CC right now. Maybe the warlock still goes down. Okay, all right, warlock still still goes down. That's fine with me. Um, this this game, I would say, um, try to utilize your instant healing just a little bit more with your thunder focus, team envelopment mist, and your instant vivifies. Try to always always use those spells. That's what I try. I use instant vivify pretty much off cooldown, especially since you're running mastery. You should be able to your vivifies will have mastery like higher heal from your mastery because you're running mastery. So. Keep that in mind. But overall, it's just an unfortunate overlap. I mean, you won, which is good, but just, I don't know. I, I normally try to bubble rats high because they they get a little bubble happy, you know? Like, <laughs> they they press their bubble, I think, whenever they can. So keep that in mind. But overall, yeah, this game wasn't bad. Good Zen Focus Tease as well. All right, game number three. Yes, we're playing Restoro, which is good. Good. Restoro's good. And are we playing Peace Weaver? This is a really good Peace Weaver. Yep, good Peace Weaver, Zen Focus Tease. And that, um, yeah, good, good. Actually, it's crazy because in 10.1, you, know, you don't even play Chrysalis because you already have it. So it, I would drop Chrysalis for like either Eminence or Disarm, maybe even Disarm, because uh, I feel like they're not going to kill you. They're probably going to try to kill your Feral Druid, I feel. Maybe even your, I think your Hunter is mostly, is easier to kill, but I don't know, a lot of people don't want to hit Hunters. I don't know why. Uh, that's Paint Sub off the bat against your, against the Warlock. Really good route there. Yep, happens to me all the time. It's actually fantastic. Yep. Trust me. <laughs> it, it is great. Um, careful, don't go too far. Don't go too far. You could just port, um, but I guess we're doing a good job. Yeah, good life cocoon on the hunter is fine. We kind of we're we're avoiding CC, which is good, but too much, too much. Like we're playing restore, right? And this is warlock wall. See, so I would have just ported instead of rolling. This, I, I know that's what, I would have ported here. And then as soon as the Rep Halley started running away, I would port back. That way you don't have to waste all your rolls. Because I think rolls are a little bit more important on bigger maps. And then you also don't fall behind as fast. You could also in-cap the Rep Halley if you wanted to. Um, we do have Yulon available. We have, we have Thunder Focus T and Velt Mist available. Um, see, he's still, we see, we're CC the whole time. And then we have to trinket, right? So like all, all that time that we were running away is wasted. Because we ended up still trinketing, life cocooning. And all that when and we could have just eaten the hodge and then use your storo that's what i that's normally what i do is uh, I'll, I'll just eat a cc if i have restoro like it's fine if they hodge me because i can recover with revival um and then we walk into a fear so versus priests very very be very careful i mean i know we have a leg sweep and this is a juicy leg sweep this is a really good leg sweep but be careful because they could just fear you so just be aware, you know, might get spam feared off this potentially. If we get hodged off this, it's not good. Um, fear on your feral, I guess that's good. Um, fear on you, might get hodged off. If he's playing blinding light, that too. Nice, there it is, beautiful. Thunder focus the envelopment mist there is, is great. And you wanna try to utilize that more. Nice, uh, we trinket the hodge there, or not we did, but the hunter did. Uh, because it's just really good healing. It's just really good healing. Uh, blinding light is super dr because it drs with fear. Uh, make sure you get a renewing mist on the feral druid. Right, okay, well, feral druid is just in way too deep. But Zen Focus T here is good. Get the fear, perfect. Renewing mist, renewing mist, good. Nice. Yeah, no, we're doing a good. Job. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're doing a good job right now. Healing wise, I think we're doing fine. Our mana, like, listen, right now we're so far ahead on mana. All we have to do is live. That's all we have to do. We don't have trinket, but we have life cocoon. And we have, do we have revival? No, we have life cocoon though. So like, just got to focus on how, with the cooldown we have. We gave the warlock precog, not us, but I think the pharaoh gave the warlock precog. Warlock's running, kiting his healer. Oh my god! If I was the other priest, if I was the enemy priest, I'd be losing my mind. I really would. <laughs> um, no, good game. Just be be careful when you're kiting the the CC. Um, this right here, you see the rep pally running at you. He pops wings. We try to rop it. It's very unfortunate. I'd port. Just port here. Yeah, I would port or eat it. Either one. I, I, both of them are fine because you have restoral. Like, that's the thing. What you're trying to do, I what you're trying to do, when you avoid CC, what you're trying to do is make it so that they can't CC you so you don't have to trinket. Um, but the issue is it's a big map, you know, and we fall so far behind. We have to life cocoon. We actually could thunder focus the enveloping mist here. We could Yulon thunder focus the enveloping mist, which I think is better here than life cocoon. Um, and then we still actually have to end up trinketing. So what I would have done is I would have maybe rolled closer to my team. So like rolled like in this direction, not here, rolled here to this pillar. And then you can restore all the restore all any damage and make your team immune with peace. Weaver. 
while you're stunned. And then you don't have to trink it. You don't need to life cocoon. You just trade restoral, minute and a half cooldown, and you don't have to worry about you know anything else. And then you want to reset your port as well. Um, especially since you're playing with the melee, you kind of want to make your port closer. So you, you see how we never used port once that last game? It's because we have a feral, and they're just going to be pushed in the whole time. So... And they didn't swap to either. But overall, yeah, besides that, yeah, this game is solid. Good healing, good cooldown usage, good Zen Focus Tease. Um, don't run into Priest for CC, though. Don't, yeah, because uh, Priests have very little mobility to get to you. So the only way they really get the fear is if their team sets it up or if we push into them. All right, we got game number four. Let's see how this goes. So we are playing, what are we playing against? We're playing against BM. BM Hunter. And I forget what else. Eminence is good. Okay, BM um, Rep Pally. Let me see. Restoral is good. Eminence is fine. Stay Restoral. Good. Wait, are we playing Peace Fever though? I would drop Zen. Fo you know what? It's only be in, in the new patch, I would go Peace Fever because um, we have Crystal's baseline. Um, and I think Kill Target, I mean, it could be either. It could be either. I think it could be Hunter. Um, they're probably, they're going to go your Warlock the entire time, of course. And we're going to Statue Down, Port Up. Beautiful. Yeah, they're, they're just going to go your Warlock. Nice drop here for your Warlock. Really good. Blinding Light on you as well. And, feel, oh my god, they just DR'd you on everything. You just got DR'd on everything. Dispel the Hodge if you can. That's Dark Pack from your Warlock. Really good. Get perfect hiding away. Uh, don't go too far. You, what, we're going a little too far right now. Yeah, you always want to stay in range of your DPS that's dying. Um, was that Revival? Okay, oh, yeah, that was Revival, which is a little bit unfortunate. And the Hunter just did a weird chat. We could port this. Oh, no. See, we're, out, we're so far from our port now. We can't... Great fear from your Warlock. Um, that was really good. Uh, because you, I think we were going to get trapped off that. And that would not have been good. Oh, no. He doesn't even have traps. He's just stunning you for fun. Yeah. They don't have a setup for your for trap now unless they hodge you. But they should be hodging the Warlock. So, we'll see. Well, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. That's sack from the Red Pally. Careful. Feared full. We have no cooldowns off this trinket. So, uh, MC'd half. We trinket the MC. Your Pharaoh, I think, tried to kick it. But... Um, I think it was two. I think we triggered it, so that's fine. that's fine. Uh, good Yulon here. Good. Usually I try to Yulon f like a little bit sooner, but I think this is okay. Um, we have no training though. We have no cooldowns. We have nothing. We have nothing. Full trap on you. Hopefully, this is fine because your warlock's actually kiting. I don't think the does your priest the, the priest actually has fear. Okay, and then Hodge and your warlock. So this 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 is not looking too good for us. Yeah, this is Zen Focus T is good, but yeah, no, that was. This this was this one did not feel too good. So let me think. So the first one is you don't want to. We're running out in the middle of the map. You never you never want to run out in the middle of the map. This is like, I don't. We're running out, and it's just way easier for them to see. So I don't know why we're running so far from the the warlock. You want to stay with your warlock. Your warlock is like your line of defense. Obviously, don't stack on your warlock. And actually, I think this comes down to your warlock being behind the pillar. Your warlock should be out here, out here in the middle of the map, and you should be on the pillar. You, you, your positions are like reversed. You should be on the pillar to avoid CC, and then your warlock should be out in the middle of the map. That way, when they take damage, they can port. Because right now, I think the whole time your warlock just eats damage, like the entire time. It's brutal. And I think your warlock wall is here, which I think is fine, but I don't know. It, it's... Yeah, I think it's fine because you get trapped and he also, or you get stunned, but he also missed a trap. But then we life cocoon off that and uh, and now we have nothing, which is kind of kind of brutal. So I think it just comes down to positioning on this one. Uh, your Warlock, again, is still on the pillar. He gets away. Notice how like the one CC chance you get feared here, bolts on, on the good bolts here. And then like the one CC chain where you might die, your Warlock actually uses port. And then he's fine. So I think this one just comes down to your Warlock positioning on the pillar. Trust me, I had a shuffle the other day. I had two Warlocks behind the pillar. For some reason, they're just on this map and not in the middle of the map. So I think this mostly comes down to positioning. Um, I think you did pretty good healing. You should try to use Yulon a little bit faster um, because her, the Yulon Hots are actually good. All right, we got game number five. All right, we got Destro BM versus Feral Ret. Uh, this is definitely just going to be a Warlock game. Yeah, just run down the Warlock <laughs> all game. You should be fine. Hodge on the pre. So right now we're looking for a nice sweep on the hunter, but we're looking for a CC off of this Hodge. Try to go for an in cap on the priest here, uh, off this Hodge. Uh, that way you just like extend the crowd control, and they your team really only has stuns. Uh, be careful again uh, with uh, kiting revival there. Do, are we playing or uh, are we playing 
Peace Weaver doesn't look like it's three minute cooldown. I would definitely play Peace Weaver versus Destrolux because it immunes their Chaos Bolt damage. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's kind of important. And also reduces the cooldown too. And you could, you know, if you're playing Restore, you could use while stunned. Life Cocoon on your Rep Pally. Um, make sure you get Renewing Mist on your Feral and then just start spamming Vivify. Is perfect. Beautiful. Good. Good. We got Yulon cranking. Fear on you. Careful. Nice Shadow Meld on that Fear. Really good. Really, really good job there. Stun on you. Hopefully, we're playing Eminence. Beautiful. Uh, port again. Oh, we didn't get the second port. Oh, that's very unfortunate. So you have you have escape from reality here. You could port a second time. I think we're trying to wait until the stun's over, but I would I would definitely just uh I would just port because you got the priest coming in hot with the fear. Uh, it looks like we get sanked out of that. That's pretty good. That's actually good. Nice, good, good Zen focus to here too. Um, try to get some CC on the priest here now. It, I think it's our turn. Try to go for something, maybe a sweep or something. Uh, that's bubble from our rep pally. Fear on you. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Beautiful. Nice drop. Priest is hella far. Oh, no, Priest is back. Okay. Coil on your rep pally. Good. Good dispel. Nice job. Renewing mist. Make sure you get renewing mist up. Good. In situations like this where we're running around the pillar, you can still heal. Like, you still have an instant vivify right here. Um, so just keep that in mind. When you're running around trying to avoid... Oh, perfect. All right, good. You did it. Uh, renewing Mist here, too. We're probably going to need one. Nice. Good envelopment. Mist put supplies it. Boom. Warlock goes down. Great. Poor Warlock just getting trained this whole game. Uh, though, again, another thing, though. Avoiding CC is fine, but it's... it's If you have to use a Life Cocoon while you're avoiding CC, it's it's kind of rough. So, we Revival, again, should be Peace Weaver. Uh, we should have Peace Weaver, because then we can immune the silence as well. And then we press Life Cocoon. It's fine. You could also use ink cap on the hunter if, if you want to. Um, but yeah, I would just be careful when you're avoiding CC for so long because then you have to use, you've used both your cooldowns, right? You use your revival and your life cocoon there just to avoid CC. Um, and good, good shadow meld on that fear. All right, we got game six versus BM Hunter and Feral Druid. So this is going to be, this one's going to be interesting. I think that obviously they're just going to run down your, your warlock. So just be prepared. I uh, love the hippo mount. Hippo mount's perfect. Uh, put a port down. Great statue. Fantastic. And yeah, there's opening. The hunter might open with a trap on you. It seems like that's what he likes to do. Yep, there it is. I would constantly, versus hunters, I tend to just like keep moving around with spinning crane kick to try to get the, stop them. But uh, we do get silence here. Hopefully a sank pre-cocoon is not bad. It's not the biggest cocoon because we didn't have many stacks, but that's pretty good. Nice in cap here. Beautiful. Sweet maybe? Yes, that's what we're looking for. And we get the feral trinket. That's amazing. Uh, we're doing a really good job right now. Got to keep healing. Yulon. Yep. Thunder focusing and miss is good. Instant Vivify is perfect. Uh, they have no they have no range kicks for you. So, or I'm sorry. The Hunter is LOSing you, so they can't kick you. But um, the Feral does have a kick now. I I think it's our, I don't know if it's our Warlock position or our position, but like we always get in these awkward situations. Let me see. So our Warlock is here and then goes into the middle of the map. I think it's us. I think we have a good job avoiding the fear. We revival there. That's fine. <coughs> port. Oh, instead of running in the middle of the map, we could port. So right now, see the priest running at us? Just port instantly. Just port as soon as you can. And now if we're playing eminence, we're outranging it. So we're probably going to have to trinket here maybe. Trap on you. Yeah, this is probably going to be a trinket. Yeah, that's our trinket. And careful because priest has fear. Oh. Okay, kick on us. Maybe we live this. We're like health zones there. We actually live this. That's crazy. All right. We're alive. <laughs> We're alive. Yeah, just stay stay on the pillar. Right here. Right here. Perfect. Right here. Your home right here. Don't move here from here. Try to juke the Pharaoh as he comes back in because he might try to kick you. It looks like that's they're going to try to silence you. That's fine. Just chill. By the way, you could use Zen Focus to immune that silence. If you, I'm assuming you're playing Zen Focus T because you've been playing it every round. Uh, this silence right here, uh, you can immune it. If you Zen Focus T towards the end of the, uh, I think, Scorpion thing or whatever. Yeah, you can actually Zen Focus T that and you don't get silenced. So, big hot tier. Good. Good. We don't have Trinket. We have Life Cocoon back up, though. Bash on us. Okay. Could Cocoon here before Fear. Okay. We're avoiding the Fear. Good. Still has Fear, though. So, be careful. Sweep. Nice. 
Good. Nice. Good. Good. Warlock port. Beautiful. That's void shift from the priest. Fear on the feral druid. It's, that's a good fear. That's feral kick, so you're fine. Just heal. Yep, perfect. Renewing mist. Into five if you can. Stun on you. Hopefully no trap off. Port the trap. Oh. Oh. Okay. I guess Warlock's playing uh Warlock's playing dispel. Which is really nice. Wow. Oh my god. I wow. I this was a good game. Wow. Um yeah, this 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 was pretty good. This was pretty good. Good utilize life pre life cocoon is always really good. Especially when you, the thing is is it's really good. The difference between pre life cocooning CC and then avoiding CC and then uh, life cocooning is that you get CC'd. You, you know the difference? Like when you're avoiding CC in this one, let's just say which game, um, in like this game right here, when we're avoiding CC the whole time and then we have to life cocoon, the issue is they still have CC off of this. Like our life cocoon is down now and then we can still get CC'd. Whereas in this one, we pre life cocoon CC. And we're in CC while life cocoon is active, so we're on DR as soon as we come out of the out, out, out of the life cocoon, which is really really good. I think it was like right here. Let me see. Maybe not. Maybe it's over here. So that's the difference. That's that's why it's so. That's why the pre life cocoon is so good, because you're able to you're able to press it right before you get CC'd. You get CC'd, but your life cocoon is still going. So really good job there. Really good game. I can't believe your warlock lived. Great healing. Um, overall, good job avoiding CC. But just be careful when if you're avoiding it for too long because you're gonna fall behind very quickly. And in solo shuffle, dampening ramps up really fast. Like you're you're the games are fast, the dampening ramps up quick. So just keep that in mind. It's it's gonna be hard to recover if you're avoiding CC for 20 seconds, and then you have you have to use a cooldown, and then you get feared because it's it, that's just rough. Um, but overall, yeah, these games weren't bad. Yeah, no, these these games weren't bad at all. Great job avoiding CC. Um, Great healing cooldowns. Your mana was fine. I think most games your mana was was fine. So great job utilizing your mana. Uh, Min maxing life cycles. Try to utilize your instant healing more. Your thunder focusing envelop mist. Your instant vivifies. Especially with Yulon. I use Yulon like almost instantly uh, in shuffle. Like as soon as I start seeing any damage going out, instantly Yulon get a thunder focus team envelop mist out, and you're gonna be fine. Uh, your whoever is taking damage is gonna be fine. Um, outside of that, yeah. That's that's good. Use port more, maybe to avoid CC too. Don't run into priests either when um, it, it's very hard for them to CC you if you don't push in or if they don't have any setup. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone running to the same issues. Um, sorry it took so long. I got some submissions, so I kind of just go in order of whoever sends in gameplay. So that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.